Hey, this is Kyle with McCall Property Management, and I uh, just wanted to uh, spend some time with you today. Uh, kind of show you what I do in a day. And right now, uh, you know, we manage rental properties all over North Texas. And uh, today we've got tenants that have just moved out and we already have a new tenants scheduled to move in shortly. Uh, but I needed to do a move out uh, inspection to document what the property looked like uh, when they moved out versus when they moved in. So if there's issues uh, that we need to address on the security deposit, we certainly will. Um, but uh, these were good tenants. Uh, so I'm, you know, I've already done the, I've already walked through, took pictures and, you know, they did a fairly good job. And um, I'm very uh, proud of my team because, you know, as soon as they knew that this tenant was gonna be not renewing and moving out, we jumped on it, started marketing it. We already have tenants scheduled to move in um, shortly. So, you know, kudos to my team for doing a great job on that. But uh, this is in Glen Heights, which is just south of Dallas. So it's a suburb, um, really nice neighborhood. Uh, this, is, this is kind of what we look for in our rental properties. We want uh, three, maybe four bedrooms, two baths minimum, uh, brick on a slab typically is what we're looking for. So this is what we call our bread and butter home. So um, I'm gonna take you inside, show you what we do. All right, so I'm heading in and um, you know, there's a lot of businesses that have really come to a standstill uh, lately, and that, that's very sad and unfortunate. Um, I think it's going to affect a lot of our tenants and, you know, frankly, a lot of our landlords also that we work for. Um, it'll affect me also, depending on kind of how the income streams work. So, um, fortunately, I'm in a business that is considered essential, and essential is we provide housing services. Uh, in this regard, we've got people that have somewhere to, that they need to move into, so we need to make sure this house is available to them. Um, and you know, when, when you have properties that um, have a roof leak, have a clogged toilet, have a, a faucet that's broken, you know, we still have to get out there and take care of it because we can't have that um, become an issue uh, for the housing. So um, that that's one of the reasons that you know I picked my industry that I work in is because it's very important that people have roofs over their heads. We need safe and secure homes for people, and that's what we do. I'm very proud of my team uh, for doing such a great job on that. Um, but anyhow, let's go take a look. So, um, like I said earlier, we were very fortunate. This has been a great tenant. Um, I'm not gonna say all of our move outs are smooth and fine and dandy as this one, but uh, this tenant did a great job on her move out. You notice she's even got the little carpet uh, lines in there where she's vacuumed. Um, tip to all you tenants when you move out, that'll that'll make a landlord think, oh yeah, you did a good job just by putting those lines in there from the the uh, vacuum cleaner. So bath, bathroom looks good, everything's clean. Uh, what we're looking for is obviously, you know, crud in the tub, around the caulking the edges, toilets. I don't have to explain that to you. You know what I'm looking for. Um, this is a good point. We were able to rent this house so quickly. And the reason we were able to do that was uh, several. One is my team didn't waste time. Second is we do professional photography and we do video tours of properties and we do a lot of remote showings. So in today's world where we're not able to meet with tenants at homes in most situations, uh, we're able to remotely show properties. And we have some security um, protocols taken that, that that dictate how that works, but uh, we're gonna only let people in when they meet certain criteria and we have certain identification, things of that nature. So certainly we wanna make sure that, you know, we're on top of it. We run our business pretty virtually. I haven't really seen a person um, live having to do with my job in a, in a couple of days now. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, usually every morning I go into the office, have a round table with everybody and we talk about what we're doing, what's going on. And then I load up and do my errands that I need to do, you know, move out inspections, move inspections, check on contractors, making sure rehabs are happening, making bid, bidding houses that I want to go buy or rehab for other investors. So uh, it's been a little different. We got everybody working from home. You got to love Zoom and conference calls and, and all of that technology that we have nowadays. So McCall Property Management has been very blessed in that we have not had to lay anybody off. It's very important to me that we don't. I want to make everybody's payroll and um, you know the only way that it's going to work is if, ever, if the whole system keeps moving forward and we're going to do our very best um, we might uh, tighten my belt a little bit but uh, we're it, we're going to we're going to get through this so 
we're in it together. So that's what I'm saying. But just to kind of show you what I'm doing, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but hey, you probably are bored stiff, so you can see what I do. It is kind of a boring job to some people, but I kind of like it. I don't know why. Um, I just know that there's a little value that I get from providing a safe, secure home to people. Um, and and I, I love my industry that I'm in, in the regard that people always have to have a roof over their head. I've I've worked in industries before, uh, right out of college, that um, my friends no longer work there because companies don't exist because of technology and the Amazons of the world that have killed off those industries. So um, this looks like a brand new refrigerator because it almost is. You know, we had a refrigerator go out at this property, I guess it was end of last year, beginning of this year, and the owner wanted one to match what was already here. Normally we don't provide refrigerators in a rental property, but this one had it. Um, so owners are very good owner. Most of my most of my clients are very good owners and really want to provide good, secure, safe, nice homes for people. So we got one that matched the one that, that died. So that's not normal, but we want to take care of people. Another thing we look for is the fireplace. How nasty is it? This one, um, you see a little plastic there, but basically what they did is they went to the gas station and picked up a, a, a bundle of lumber and put it in there. And that's the plastic that was around it. I know it's not good to burn, but can't complain. Uh, I'm not gonna beat up the tenant on the yard. It could be mowed, but in today's world, at this time it's March grass is really just starting to hit really hard so um, we're gonna mow it anyway right before the tenant moves the new tenant moves in so I'm not gonna bash her on that but anyhow that's what we do um, I'm not gonna say every rental house that we do a move out inspection is this nice and, and smooth and easy um, but it is this time um, we do a few things to kind of ensure that, that happens more often one we do annual uh, inspections on our property to make sure the tenants taking care of it. We also have an a HVAC company come out and service the HVAC system twice a year. I know the owners of that company, they're very good and they'll give us good feedback on, hey, you need to watch for X, Y, and Z property because they have something they're not supposed to have going on. And I, you can fill in the blank. I can tell you so many stories about <laughs> different things that they found and they've let us know. Um, but anyhow, it's very good that you check on your properties while you have a tenant there to ensure that you get properties come back to you like this. So one of the biggest expenses an owner has is tenant turnover. And that's not what we want. We want tenants to be in there and stay in there. And when they do move, we want it to be as smooth and easy as we possibly can. So this is going to be a prime example of smooth as butter. Doesn't happen every time, but it's more than 20% of the time, might be 30% of the time that it's almost a move in, move out, or move out, move in scenario. Now we're gonna send um, our cleaner in here just to do a quick wipe down, just to make sure it's all, everything's Lysol before the tenant moves in, of course. But otherwise, this is a pretty nice little place. So thank you for watching. Um, stay safe, keep your six feet distance. Um, if you get bored, watch my YouTube channel. I got a lot of stuff out there. I think we're up at, I wanna say it's 360 videos on YouTube and Facebook. It's nowhere near that many, but we got a lot on Facebook too. So check us out. Thank you. Have a good one. This is McCall Property Management. Uh, we manage rental properties all over North Texas. Uh, you can call us at 817 491 2553 or visit us at 817 or visit us at www.mccallpropertymanagement.com. McCall is M C C A W, much like my shirt. Have a good day. Thank you. Be safe.